ਨਹੀਂ ਮਤ Hello, welcome back to another episode of Sin and Tonic or Delmore and Tonic or Delmore and Chocolate. In this case, tonight we are discussing these chocolates that I found. I blame internet ads. Mm. The way I even heard this, it's V O S G E S H A U T chocolate. Vas just o chocolate. We don't know. I'll put a link below. The Delmore is here you explain the Delmore whiskey and then I'll explain the chocolates. How's it? Yeah, Delmore Scotch. Scotch, sorry. Yeah. Scotch. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> it, well, it's, it's got a, it's got a thing on it, so it's, it's got a superior thing. to other scotches. It's matured for nine years in American white oak ex bourbon cat. The whiskey is directed divided for its final flourish. It's a phenomenal single malt. You drink it. You drink it. Yeah. Distilled, aged, and processed in Scotland at the Delmore Distillery, though. So this is from Scotland. The Delmore did a crossover chocolate collab, a chocolate collab with this gourmet chocolate company. Okay, this is a woman owned company. It has a quality code on the back. Non-GMO, 100% what? A recyclable container made with renewable energy. You can taste the green energy. Yeah. They did make these chocolates in, these are truffles. They made these in collaboration with the Delmore and there is actually Delmore whiskey in these truffles. They're mm -hmm. not just whiskey flavored right there there are i believe let's see let's open it it's very fancy little box and when i first saw this i thought oh you know they're just using delmore's name holy smokes it's so it says right. 45 years of the delmore scotch plus chocolate so we and decided that like uh in in the 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 theory of uh too much of a good thing is a great thing. Yeah, uh, we're, we're pairing uh, scotch with scotch infused yeah. chocolate. Yeah, because why not? Chocolate and scotch whiskey, one of life's privileges. Oh, yeah. um, well, the Dalmore has always set the highest standards in whiskey craftsmanship. You're personally curated cast multi-stage maturation result in a sumptuous and layered whiskey of legendary I finesse. Already. I know. It smells good. I know, smell that. Oh mm. my god. Luxurious malt experience. This luxurious malt experience, can, I'm not even drinking yet, mm -hmm. can be classified as one of life's privileges. This is a super fancy chocolate company. These are the whiskeys that are in these yeah. oh, oh no, no. We got First stickage. Off, hold on we got stickage oh there's like little chewy things on oh there oh my gosh oh mm. can you smell them they smell insanely good so there are three different kinds and there's enough for each of us to have one and leftover for uh pinky sure. later mm -hmm. There's a Delmore 12 with, oh, that's this one, I think. Yeah, this is the Delmore 12. It has raw honey, 62% cacao dark chocolate, and candied orange peel. We have a little piece of candied orange peel on top. Delicious. We're going to try that first, then we'll go through each one. So let's, uh... And yes, yeah, too much of a good thing. But I really want to see. These should pair perfectly since there is Delmore in mm -hmm. these truffles. Here we go with our... Mmm. Mmm. Mm. One for mm. you. Oh wait, these were kind of... And I like that these aren't giant truffles, they're small. They're not like those big honking right. ones. Here's our truffle, lovely. Should we, should we Should we? coat our mouths with some? Yeah, let's have Delmar a first. sip of this first. Mmm, 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 mm, Delmore. It's, mm. it's a very scotch whiskey whiskey. If, I, if I'm just smelling this, I can tell that this smells like a whiskey that has a metal emblem on yeah. the bottom. <laughs> you can smell the deer emblem. I can smell the deer emblem. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Mm. 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 Ooh. Delmore. Wow. Okay. Oaky. That's oaky. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, we're doing the mm. candy. Mm hmm Oh, my God. Good stuff, huh? I'm just going to pop the whole thing. I think that's what it's mm. meant to do. I'm going to show the... Yeah, I'm going to do my whole one here. Cause... It does have like honey inside. There's raw honey in there though, look. Mm -hmm. You see all the honey in the bottom? Oh my mm -hmm. god, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I like dark chocolate. This one has this actual whiskey in it. Mm -hmm. Delmore 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like dark chocolate. <laughs> With <laughs> can with candy orange, really good flavor. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Mm. This is what I imagine I'd be having in the afterlife if things go really well. Mm. There would be boxes of these and lots of whiskey. I must say, mm. I didn't get a lot of an alcohol oh, mm -mm. flavor on that. Not even like a rum ball level of flavor. I think the alcohol that's in there is really worked into the mm -hmm. recipe. It's not mm -hmm. like blasting out at you. That said, if you're afraid of these because of the whiskey in them, don't be. Yeah. They're, they're not pretty, like... Pretty tame. It's very... It's Good chocolate. Thing. Yeah, it's a very nice blend. Right. Our second one has this little... It has spiced ginger crumb on it. This has the Delmore 15, which we do not have. I wish we had the three, the, the 12, the 15, and 18, but we don't. We're it's working with the 12. Just a mellower version yeah. of what we got. This has the Delmore 15 Early Harvest. Now, this is a weird chocolate. This is the one that has the first pressed Mediterranean olive oil, 72% cacao dark chocolate, and spiced ginger crumb. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smells like a, a graham crackery. Oh, that is gingery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm. got a nice warm baking kind of mm -hmm. gingerbread. What do you think of that one? It's solid. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to find the scotch's influence mm -hmm. on this chocolate. And I'm having a hard time doing it. I'm almost wondering if we like scotched our mouths out too much. I mean, that's a possibility, but... That's what I'm but, feeling. I don't detect it. I mean, my, my taste buds are usually pretty good, and I'm not detecting a whole lot of scotch here. I am when I suck on it. Let it melt. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> You're um, doing it wrong. You're not sucking on it. That's um, what you said. I let it melt on your tongue and just like, then I taste it. That's what you said. Oh, God. <laughs> they come in threes. <laughs> I'm getting a lot more gingerbread than I'm getting anything. Mm, I like it. Mm. Yeah, it definitely isn't a whack in the face scotch flavor at all. Yeah, I wouldn't. But. <laughs> this is cross marketing going on here. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. isn't, but this is. All right, tell mm -hmm. more 18. They put it in now, the white. Now this one, yeah, this one I'm really excited to try. I think this is gonna be my favorite. Okay. We're not going to shoot whiskey before this. No, let's right, try this one without. Right. Mm, okay, I'm still sucking on. Never mind. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't right. say it. Don't say it. All right. Okay. Let's hit them. Uh, gold leaf. Oh, that's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's fancy here. Let's put this little guy here. These so, are exceptionally round. They're, they're, they're certainly perfect. high quality in the way that yeah. they're made. Oh, they're yeah. beautiful. Beautiful little chocolates. All right. So the Dalmore 18 is the Dalmore 18 plus vanilla bean coffee plus burnt sugar caramel and 70% cacao dark chocolate. All right. I think this is going to be my favorite. But yeah. I don't know. I like burnt all sugar. of them. Burnt mm -hmm. sugar. And mm. um, vanilla bean coffee. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. I taste the whiskey more in this one. A little bit. It's still, it's not the way that... Like melty inside? Mm -hmm. It's still not the way that you taste booze in like a rum ball or something like that. I don't think they were going for that yeah. though. Well, I don't think they were either. I'm just trying to make mm -hmm. that clear that these are more like a kind of chocolate. Now here's the bespoke truffles have been carefully crafted to complement and enhance oh. the flavors of the Delmore. Infused with each of the Delmore's unique single malt expressions. We were doing it right from the beginning when we were tasting them together. All right. They should be enhancing it. I don't know how long. And they were. Mm hmm. Definitely. I like that one together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, they're all, they've all been good. Oh. In the they're way that really... chocolate goes mm -hmm. good with whiskey. Mm hmm. What you never really hear addressed very much. No, you don't see. That's why I thought it this really was. It really does really kind of fascinating this little collab here the scotch and chocolate i did order this because i knew we were going to be getting together and we've done all of our weird whiskey pairings with whatever right but this one i was really fascinated with because 
I, by the way, I did not buy this. My husband bought this. Mm -hmm. He came home with this and he said, oh, I always wanted to try this one. So it's been sitting on our bar unopened. We just haven't gotten around it because we have other ones we've been trying. So we just got around to it. Coincidentally, I see the ad for this and I went, hey, wait, we have this. I recognize that deer head. Honestly, this would be a really good gift for somebody to give them. Sure. The bottle and the chocolate. Hey, hey speaking of which, uh, let's, not, not let's uh, let, because people are always interested in stuff yes. like this. Well, let's talk price on this Delmore. Okay, so you want to talk price. Mm -hmm. This bottle runs about $64.99, between $60 and $70 okay. roughly, but it's like $64.99. Right. I believe we paid somewhere around that for it. The Delmore Scotch Infused Chocolate Collection is $40 for nine truffles. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't playing when I So that's a gift this. you gotta yeah. really like somebody. Yeah, so that, well, it's just over a hundred dollars. So, I mean, if you have a, like a brother or a husband or a father who really likes Scotch whiskey, this might be a great gift, a hundred, you know, I don't know, I'd spend a hundred, I'd spend a thousand dollars on my dad if I could. He's worth every penny and more. But it depends on what you can afford. But this is maybe even for like a colleague at work if you have a bougie job oh. like my husband does and yeah. you have customers or something. Right. This is a very impressive gift for someone. That's all I'm going to say. This is not a, oh, it's your birthday and we have a limited $25. Don't go for this. Go for some screwball peanut butter whiskey and some... I would do some uh, dollar store so jelly uh, strawberry Newtons. So yeah, so we're just over, uh, we're like $105 for the two of these. As this said though, now you know why it says it's one of life's privileges. It's one of life's provisions. It's very snooty. It's not something that I would do every day. I mean, this is probably the only time I'm gonna buy this mm -hmm. just to try it. And it's definitely a thing where you have to be a connoisseur. Here's my problem. Kind of like what we, yeah, but kind of like what we're into. Like Guys this aren't giving thing. dudes uh, at, at work chocolates. And no, yeah, the not chocolate thing is girls weird. Scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. this is my problem with this. Who is this for? Yeah, well, it's occurring to me now. Like, well, I would buy this for my husband. He would love it if I got him this and this. You know him. He saw this. He was so excited because he had bought the Delmore. Right. But if I had bought, if I really wanted to go crazy and spend like five hundred dollars on them that I don't yeah. have right now, I could buy all three of the bottles and then give him these, and he would have the whole tasting collection. One hell of a gift. And the thing is, like, yeah, this is. My husband would love this, but he's a whiskey connoisseur. Uh -huh. So it's one of those things, I almost think it's like a gift for the person who's, not who has everything, but kind of the person who, they have like, scotch is their passion. Right. And they like anything scotch related. I mean, don't get me wrong, Speak I like oh. eating, I like eating chocolate and drinking scotch too. That's absolutely fine. But you fun. also buy but a lot a of your gift. scotch at, um, at Costco. Sure, yeah. And so I mean, and you're not chocolate like, too. yeah. Yeah, and right, and my husband would never do that. Oh, please. Yes, he would. Uh, he would because you said to try it. Yeah. But he, he, yeah, but you don't know him. He's very into, um... The experience. Life's privileges. Um, no, I mean, I always joke that we can, we can go to a store and whatever, he'll, I'll say, pick out whatever you want and he will pick out the most expensive thing. So it is a name and label. Yeah. yeah. So if you're one of those and people who that's... That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. This is a marketing thing going on. Oh yeah, right across here. marketing. Yeah. And it's brilliant, really. Because if you are a fan of the Delmore and you hear that they have these these truffles that there's the three different Delmores, yeah. you're going to be like, well, hell, I got to yeah. try that because I'm a yeah. huge fan of Delmore. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's who it's for right. is somebody who's a connoisseur. Mm. If you're not a connoisseur, this is like, yeah. it's, it's, people are probably freaking out watching this going, if you're spending a hundred dollars on that, can I have a hundred dollars? Got it. You know what I mean? So, but you know, it's, it's the connoisseur thing. It's like, we don't have a lot of hobbies other than let's drink whiskey. <sighs> Um, so, what do you think? Privilege? Cross-marketing scheme? Uh, expensive way to spend a Monday evening? For you two? Cheap thrills? Cheap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, am I crazy? 
comment below. No, we know I am. Yeah. But that, that kind of goes without saying. But I do love a good glass of scotch. And this is a good scotch, and I really do love this chocolate paired with this scotch. Mm, good. I, I have to say, for me personally, this is one of my favorite pairings of yeah. alcohols and foods that we've done. Yeah. But maybe that's me and I I love a good truffle and these are so good. And I don't, you know, and they do pair like perfectly. There was no clashing. Mm -hmm. There was no, you know, nothing where they blended so well together and right. they really did complement each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for me, it's like, it's a win. It's right. awesome. I really like it. So I will put the links below. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the Nelmore, you can, there, you can buy it on the Whiskey Exchange online, but at the finer liquor stores, mm -hmm. it's available. There is a, a 12, what, a 12, a 15, and an 18. Yeah. And the, the, just so you know, if you're new to this, the higher the number, the higher the price. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the older it is, the higher the price, yeah. obviously, because they have to, you know, age, to, to age it for so long. Yeah. And in the world of scotch, that the the age generally means that it's getting smoother and mm -hmm. a little more complex yeah. as it gets. So this is the youngest Elmore, is the 12 year. Which is very old for a scotch. Old for a scotch. Yeah. That's our review of chocolate and Delmore chocolate, Delmore Delmore. And if you are a fan, uh, and, but if you have not tried the chocolate and whiskey experience, I highly recommend it. You don't have to start with $40 chocolates and no, $60. Go to the dollar $1. store in Costco. Yeah, go to Aldi's, get yourself a nice European chocolate bar from Aldi's. Uh, if you're going to go with the scotch, get yourself some Johnny Walker Red, very inexpensive. If you're going to go with some bourbon, get yourself some Evan Williams, very, very, very inexpensive. And uh, enjoy. It's an excellent excellent pairing pairing so thanks for watching please like please subscribe and cheers bye bye